Using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have discovered a shocking finding about the early universe, a cluster of huge galaxies in the process of formation around an incredibly hot quasar. The findings will deepen our understanding of the conditions that led to the formation of the present-day cosmic web from clusters of galaxies in the early universe. A quasar is a compact area containing a supermassive black hole at the heart of a galaxy. Quasars are a subclass of active galactic nucleus, AGN. The quasar is brighter than all the stars in the galaxy because of the gas falling into a supermassive black hole. Webb discovered SDSS J165202.64 plus 172852.3, a quasar that was active 11.5 billion years ago. The light from this distant galaxy has been redshifted, making it seem much redder than it really is. This makes Webb with its exceptional sensitivity at infrared wavelengths, an ideal instrument for a comprehensive study of the galaxy. This quasar is one of the most distant and strong galactic nuclei ever seen. The intense emission from the quasar was thought to drive free gas out of its host galaxy, creating a galactic wind and potentially having a major impact on future star formation in that galaxy. Thanks to near specs ability to collect spectra from all throughout the telescope's field of view at once, Webb can look at the quasar, its galaxy, and their larger surroundings all at once. Astronomers had speculated that the quasar's host galaxy was merging with an unseen companion based on previous investigations by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories that highlighted the quasar's tremendous outflows. It was surprising to the researchers because Webb's near-spec data showed there was more than one galaxy in the vicinity. The red quasar was found to be a component of a tight knot of galaxy formation, thanks to a survey of spectra across a large region. The near-spec scans help the scientists confirm three galactic neighbors to this quasar and demonstrate their connection. Hubble's data archives provide hints that there may be more. This quasar and its host galaxy were chosen for this investigation because of the extended material shown in images taken by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3. The team now thinks they may have been staring at the center of an entire cluster of galaxies, something only made clear by Webb's high-resolution imagery. It's likely there's a lot of mass there, given the three verified galaxies are moving around each other at breakneck speeds. The team thinks this location is one of the densest known regions of galaxy formation in the early cosmos, because of the high concentration of galaxies in the vicinity of this quasar. The results of this research will be published in a future issue of the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and it was completed as part of Webb's early release science program. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.